Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to talk to you about arthritis and tuberculosis. So there's some common thoughts that these two things go together, and it's not the disease that goes with the other disease, but it's some of the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis that can make you more prone to have tuberculosis. And at this point, they have determined that there is a specific drug called TNFA, which is a tumor necrosis factor alpha. And basically what this does is it blocks the chemical before it can create an inflammation or create an inflammatory response. So it's an anti-inflammatory drug. But at the same time, this protein um, or this chemical that's being used is allowing, when it blocks that receptor for rheumatoid arthritis, it's also allowing infection or disease to be able to come in in that space, that gap that it's opening up. And a lot of times they link tuberculosis to this because it, it, it immunocompromises you essentially. So that's, at this point, that's what they've conclusively found is that it's the medication and the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis that people are more prone to have tuberculosis. It's not that the two diseases are um, linked together.